Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Paul on the Call. I am Mandy Mack. And I am Chris Rivers. And we are here today with a new episode. Yes, this is episode 19. And we're so excited because we get to learn all about our friend, well, my friend, <laughs> Roman Dominates. Yay! <laughs> Thank you so much for, for meeting with us today and spending some time to share your poll journey. <laughs> um, honored that you guys asked me. <laughs> yes. We've been talking about it all day. I'm honored. <laughs> I crazy. really am. Look at the people that you guys have interviewed. You know, it's awesome that you guys asked me to do it. So I'm like, but I'm you real. are a pole dancer and we want to share every pole dancer story. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I was thinking about that too, because we we have interviewed a lot of, you know, like teachers and stuff like that. But we had, you know, baby stud muffin is not a teacher, um, more of a student just like you. <laughs> yeah, and also a competitor too. So we'll get we'll get to awesome. know a little bit more about all of those aspects of your pole journey so far. But yeah. Everybody has like their own, I feel everybody has their own pole story because they're at different stages and you deserve mm -hmm. to thank you yeah yeah for sure well, you wanna... you... this is my partner <laughs> I know, I was like... we're fiance <laughs> yes fiance. yes oh my gosh next month is the big right um it's kind of on hold right now because want to get the house first yes and um, get settled you know he's not going anywhere at least as far as i'm concerned Post <laughs> so, you know we want to do it and have fun, you know. Yeah. And Berlin. so, a couple things going on right now that we're we're okay with putting this aside for a little bit. Yes. Y'all will see that on social media when it happens. Yes. <laughs> oh, I cannot God. wait. The makeup artist, hairstyle. <laughs> <It's fun>. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Excellent. Well, when did when did you first start pole? Like, where was the very first class? I could actually tell you the exact date, January 23rd, 2021. It was a very emotional day for me. Um, I'm a case manager for a substance use program. And I had a really bad day. I ended up quitting because I was extremely stressed out. Was it you know, January or June? June. Okay. Why did I say January? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, June. <laughs> um, I'm also thinking because my father, he was also diagnosed in January 27th with glioblastoma. So, you know, that had a huge impact as well. And quite honestly, my life was a freaking wreck. Chris had started his journey a while earlier. Restarted. Well, restarted <laughs> with a pole in the wall and just watching him at home seeing what he was doing, his progress, I was like, oh, that's some pretty cool stuff. Like, you know, me personally, I didn't think I had to, to do it, but I liked to watch it. So he was like, oh, Robert, come on, come to class. No, that's not me. That's not my thing. I want to do, you know, the masculine thing. I was going to go boxing and stuff. <laughs> so that day he was like, okay, come to both of me, please. So I was like, shit, I have no excuse. Fine, okay, I'll go. <laughs> that did it. <laughs> That class did it, you know, meeting you, watching him. Mm -hmm. That's why I said meeting you, <laughs> watching him. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot harder than I thought because I'm like, please, I can lift myself and twirl. Yeah, no, I could barely turn around the pole. So it was a challenging aspect. And I'm in Aries and we don't back down from challenges. So I'm like, OK, if he could do this, I'm on it and I'm going to show him. And I love it. I love it. I really do. You know, it's bringing out a side of me that I didn't think I would actually display the way I have been displaying. You know, I've gotten a lot more comfortable with my sexuality and my body, what I can do, what I can't do. And just meeting the people that I've met, the experience has been awesome. And while it's been a while for me because I have a lot of things going on, the physical aspect of it, the way your body changes, your mind, 
it was like, I don't even need therapy anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. Therapy. And I was talking to Chris. I'm like, you know, I need to get back into it. My schedule changed yet again. And I was like, I don't want to go back to not going anymore. So I'm going to sit down and get my schedule going because I do, <laughs> I do want to at least do one showcase and I have something in mind, but I've been working on it in the shower. So nobody <laughs> knows yet. <laughs> I'm glad you said that because I think it's so important for all pole dancers to know like we're all humans. Things come up and sometimes pole dancing, it's there, but it can't always be there. So it's cool that like you share that. Yeah, it's been a while, but I'm going to get back to it, which is always the main goal. Um, so it's neat that you're open about that. Yes. Yeah, for sure. And there's, there's a few that also just come around for competitions too. So it's like, you know, you can really do poll whenever it's good for you. <laughs> 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 but I remember when you first started, Roberto, I was like, oh my gosh, when you were such a good dancer, do you want to talk about your previous dance background? Um, yeah. Um, growing up, I grew up in Northampton and it was a low income neighborhood. So there were a lot of resources for children, you know, like after school programs. And I'm going to lie, my parents were like, you said what? Child free for three hours? <laughs> Put them in dance classes. So I was actually taught from, I would say, eight years old till I was about 14 in ballet, tap, freaking square dancing, ballroom. And then growing up, we're Puerto Rican. Salsa, <laughs> merengue, then the pachata, then the reggaeton. So... By the time I was 15, I was already hitting the clubs. Like, I'm a dancer. You put music on, I don't need a partner. I'll get on that floor by myself. So that's the other thing that pole does. All the attention's on me. <laughs> <laughs> so it was nice to see, like, you know, the different type of classes you guys offer. It's not strictly just pole. Like, uh, generate the central chair. <laughs> Love it. Chris does Latin flow. Love it. Like it's all incorporated. So if I'm, my body's moving and I'm listening to music, I'm a very happy person. Yes. Yeah, for sure. And, and just like you said, that it is pretty much like a therapy. A lot of us do say it is that way. Just like, like even just for an hour, you get to forget about everything and just like be in the moment and laugh and be silly and move your body and and be healthy <laughs> yeah, you know and that's the other thing is that you both know pole dancing is predominantly a female thing mm -hmm. going in as a male and a male of color and being accepted by everybody in there it's awesome nobody cares about my gender role which sexual role i play what i do for life it's all about the dancing to having the fun getting together my friendship circle widened a little more too you know so it's been a relief for me. it really has been yes yeah for sure i'm, I'm happy you share that for sure <laughs> well let's uh well you said that so you did dance your whole life then I was in musicals. I did those little programs where we'd go around and do dances for the community, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> I was in, up to, I think I was 29, I was up in musical theater. So that That's kind of amazing. Stuff. Oh, man. So then when you came into pole and, and did it, is it a lot like just regular dancing to you or is it much different? Oh, no, it's much different. Yes, um, I was talking to Chris yesterday because you know I take classes with him and stuff and he always asks my opinion he was like was I too hard today I was like look I'm already telling you this you instructor it's okay we're gonna go to this easy and then you come to church to us you think you got that I'm like um no, <laughs> no so it's the challenge of that that I like and it's just fun it's interesting sure <laughs> yes right because i think like um like you're so strong you could do anything but there's just <laughs> you guys say that and i don't see it 
I don't. Oh. You guys are awesome ego boost for me because like there's sometimes I do the infinity. Mm. <laughs> the infinity. I've been trying to do the infinity since December. But you did it. I yeah. know, but you you got me to do it. I'm like, <laughs> love it. You got you yourself know. to do it. <laughs> okay. No, you guys, you guys need to give yourselves a little more credit because as instructors, you guys are so awesome and so caring. Thank you actually you. care about the students. Thank you know, you, you really do. You know, but um, you do all the hard work. I know. <laughs> <laughs> because you guys are so inspirational you don't understand that like you you're you're an instructor you've been doing this for a while as a new person to see the way you guys treat us and actually care that's huge mandy and chris that no it really is huge no it really yeah. is it it makes me feel better as a dancer you know like okay oh, when you start to say i could do this all right then i'm gonna do it because they believe in me it's <laughs> That's like awesome. the goal that I had for that picture. Mm. Mandy's like, yeah, you can do it. You can do it. <laughs> Mandy says I can do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> and you did it. Yeah. You did it. <laughs> you know, the, the environment is so encouraging. Like, seriously, it's awesome to be a part of. It really is. Thank you for saying that. I, I forget about that a lot, too. So it's, it's nice for you to, to have brought that up. Yeah, because oh. I... You're right, though. We do. We're, we are surrounded by a lot of like positivity and like trying to get people to to, you know, know how how worthy they are, I guess, that we yeah. forget that um, it's kind of a life changing thing if you haven't been around that for a while. And and now you're yeah. surrounded by people who are really lifting you up, like lifting up your butt. <laughs> I agree. It's always interesting when students are like, oh, thank you so much. You're so amazing. You have really changed my life. And um, when I got into this, it was just a pole dance. So just like lately making it a career and really touching people in that way and really changing lives. And it's really humbly, kind of like embarrassing. I'm just like, oh my God, I feel like a star even though that. <laughs> but um, here you are. <laughs> it's just, it's just, thank you. <laughs> it's, it has been a beautiful experience and I truly, do love it and appreciate you saying that because it is always nice to hear like you said as instructors we don't always think about how much we do we're just like okay here's our lesson plan let's do it we're gonna motivate you we're going in we're gonna definitely try to help you on your progress but it's nice to also hear that it actually works <laughs> no it really does. <laughs> do you remember when i did the first class i could barely hold on and twirl around the pole now i'm like flying I'm oh my god myself. the way the way that you control physics is like it's so <laughs> cool to watch <laughs> that's why i'm just like oh my gosh like, oh, well, like I say, you. Really, you guys are really inspirational you make me want to do these things it's like Thank i want to be the next mandy and chris and paulina and jenna you know like i want to be on that level i am i even was talking to chris I'm thinking about getting my pole certification. I was going to ask you that because you um, recently had the opportunity to co-teach the duo pole workshop series. And I, I did want to ask you if that did inspire you to, to want to help others learn how to pole dance. Because, <laughs> you know, yeah. I am teaching a class with the infamous Chris Rivers. <laughs> you know, the best was, teacher, yeah. <laughs> you guys all rock. You know, and for him to actually ask me to do it, like I went into the bathroom because I had to shed a tear. I was like, he asked me to teach a class with him. <laughs> like, oh my God, like things are happening, you know? Because he's a powerful <laughs> teacher. Like you guys are really powerful. I I don't know if you recall that one class I went to. It was you, Kelly, Chris, oh, the yeah. and Pauline. And I was, you were all instructors and I was the only <laughs> dancer. That was an innovating class. But you did awesome. Because mm. man, you guys inspired me. So, you know, and that goes, for me anyways, that goes a, a long way. You know, because, all right, my instructors say I can do it, then I can do it. Pull your bootstraps up and let's get it. <laughs> I also learned a lot of things about myself, too, um, in this journey. So it's been, it's been awesome. Facts. Hell yeah. Nice. 
I hope it was also helpful to see like me in a class and how much of a baby I am. <laughs> <laughs> I I've never had the experience of you being a baby. <laughs> I've walked out of the class thinking this woman should do stand up <laughs> because <laughs> it always was raucous laughing everybody was happy we were fun <laughs> and like when the classes would end i'd be like people come on we gotta go it's like another class is coming she needs a break we don't want to leave yeah you know if i could take i would actually i was gonna surprise you i'm saving money to put aside because i want one of those three month memberships you guys are gonna <laughs> my ugly face quite often that's a good membership online and studio and studio rental to share studio time you know, I haven't been doing it solid for a while now. It's been like probably two months since I've gotten back and I lost a lot of my uh, muscle. What do you call it? Um, definition and definition and stuff. And I've noticed yeah. it, you know, and I had That's a recent okay. incident where someone It'll called me that, <laughs> you know, kind of made me self-conscious and I'm like, well, you haven't been doing anything, you know? get back into pole, start taking care of yourself, start the self-care again, you know, and yeah. I've gotten back into it. And I'm like, I need this. Like, I really miss it. And we have a yeah. pole at home. Yeah, <laughs> and you have a pole at home. <laughs> pole at home. It's okay. And it's nice. And I do mess around with it a little bit, but mm -hmm. the environment isn't the same. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. As really like, we were just talking about conditioning, like who does conditioning by themselves? We all need to like get together and do conditioning, or else it doesn't get done. I'm really <laughs> losing that out, but we're it's all not, gonna do it. You're a loser. You're a lot more complicated than some others. No, it wasn't always like this. It just recently started in January. I completely changed. I don't know. I think it, I don't know if it was because of Jamie, but the conditioning I saw her had amazing games, and Paulina was fucking right. So I should have probably listened to her when I started. <laughs> no, <for> sure, <laughs> we had to all listen to Paulina when she makes us. Hold on for for two minutes, testing our grip strength. <laughs> like that's for our own good. <laughs> you know, and that's the other thing too is all the instructors are so different, but you guys are phenomenal. Like seriously, like one of my favorite classes that I just completed was Generate Central Chair um pole. That was a different aspect, and I was able to. The way I say it, after talking to the dancers in class, I asked, you know, how far are you, are you comfortable with? Do whatever you need to do. Have fun. You're safe. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> that was all I needed. <laughs> you know? yeah. That's and how it was it should fun. Be. Dance is expressive. That's how it should be. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Like yeah, I was able to wear my six inch pleather thigh high heels. You know, I wanted to feel and look good and I thought I did you know so it was nice to be able to have oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> I love that right because we can't like really do that at the supermarket yet mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. it's coming though I mean some people do though I've seen some people and I'm like I don't know if I should be mad at you or like, damn, good for you <laughs> 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 right it's coming <laughs> oh well what is your favorite trick is it the infinity nope no the jasmine oh, oh. nice i'm surprised to hear that too <laughs> that's i don't know why but i just love it you used to hate it <laughs> so wait a minute because you know jasmine the one that we did just or is that the jade Nope, we did do the Jasmine yesterday. So it's the Jasmine, yeah, that's Jasmine. mine. Ah, that's mine. Excellent. Okay. Nice. You used to hate it because you couldn't do it, but now you love it. Then, yeah, now mine, my least favorite is the Gemini roll. That one scares the ever living out of me. The Gemini climb? The, the, Call it the roll. The genie roll? Or the Gemini climb? Oh, oh. <laughs> Where both of our legs and you have to hold on for dear life and ah! The genie. That is the genie. You see, look at I that. I think so, yeah. <laughs> and you have to hold on. That move petrifies oh. me. 
Uh, that's some pretty crazy shit. At that. No, that <laughs> <one>. <laughs> everyone's I, different though. Everyone's different. We all have I, our, like. I scary thought it was stuff. like the vixen row or the brass monkey from a shoulder. Mount. <laughs> 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 that's my second favorite move. I love ah, that. I would. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. I'm. I'm. <laughs> my goal is. I'm trying to be very realistic, but I think I could do it within the next two years. I would like to be on his level to be able to do the stunts and tricks that he does. You're very yes. sick. <laughs> You'll definitely get there for sure. Like I said, you're you're so strong. The way you <laughs> use physics is out of this world. <laughs> there, it's just repeating the tricks and constant conditioning, and of course flexibility. Yeah, yeah like flexibility already, is not my strong suit. You have the yeah. strength. Um, you're already almost there. You just need that conditioning and flexibility. Yeah, and then just like the vocabulary of everything too, just getting it, yeah. Right you, you guys could tell me a move, do the fake Titanic. Five minutes later, hey Manny, what's the name of that thing that I just did? It, I don't know what it is. I really, I didn't, I didn't notice that at all when we were training <laughs> for your competition. That's why I tell you all the time. Every student, write it down. Take pictures. Like just so, right. There's a million ways that we could learn. We, yeah, we did try a few different things though, um, and then you were getting it toward the end there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was another lesson I learned too. Is um, b- when you're into the competition and stuff like that, the way I was, you were a dancer. Jenna Ray was a dancer you didn't dance professionally like that um you get kind of competitive and a little secretive because you don't want people knowing what you're doing it's stealing Ooh, da, 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 da. <laughs> that was my biggest regret for um pso is not showing you more thinking i had it you know i was in limelight before nothing's gonna scare me i'm okay no that was a different experience i still liked it because you know it was all about me but it was a different um how 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 do i put it it was a different um feeling being on stage performing that type of piece for the first time and everybody said it they knew when i lost it because i'm an expressive person and i felt i let myself down and what hurt even more for me is i let the studio down like i walked off that stage i was crushed I was crushed. So now it's like, you know, be a little more open, take the feedback, take the suggestions. You're not going to be great. You're only done this for not even a year. So still did amazing. It it really, it it frustrated me because I could, I know how you are and I could see you lose it. And I was just hoping don't like, don't get in your head. Cause if you don't get in your head, you got this and you fucking killed that until yeah. that moment, I saw it. Right. Like, Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> right. Cause yeah. when you first came on, you were, you had so much energy and I think it was like the energy was like a lot. And then you did your routine in like two seconds. And, and then one of, <laughs> that's, that's oh. the other thing with time is different when you hit that yes. stage. <laughs> yes. you know? And then the that individual falling off the stage oh yeah i forgot about that 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 freaked me out like it really did like i'm like oh my god like to see that that doesn't know that a pole cleaner came down off the pole and they were like spinning while they were cleaning and then they went one of those and and fell off the back so they were okay they are okay yeah yeah god you know, so that put us a little on edge. The girl before me was like in tears, like she's so nervous. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it was, it was right before you. Yep. Yep. It was right. That can make for a really terrible experience right before you go on stage for sure. It, it did bump up a little bit for me. I'm not gonna lie. You know, mm-hmm. but I walked away from it after thinking you did it. Yes. yes. You tried. You, you know. Still won. You looked yeah. amazing too. And I learned about my outfit. You know, <laughs> you still it look was, amazing. Though. I, I walked away it. saying, you know, look at it as a learning experience. You know, what can you do to improve? And I have a list. 
<laughs> so <laughs> next year, or actually, oh my god, this year. It's wow. this year. Flying. Oh my god. They haven't posted it yet. I've been tracking it and nothing. I know early. I'm waiting for them oh. in uh I've been checking the PSO Unicorns group and they're they'll they'll post it. People have been asking. <laughs> Yeah, because they already have this up to December, January done. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Well, hopefully we'll we'll learn soon. Yeah, because everyone's trying to plan. Yeah, I already have. I already have the song. I have. There's post workers too in June. Um, yes. <laughs> it's gonna be like in four movements, and I already have the four instructors that I need the help from. I already have the outfit picked out. Like, okay. I'm excited. I'll let you guys I'm know. Excited too. Uh, we get the info that it's on. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Your next competition that you want to do is the PSO Northeast mm-hmm. again. Mm-hmm. Cool. Would yeah. you do post circus or anything before then? That'll be next year. Okay. Because ah. this time around, I want to get into uh, into a, what do you call it? A section where there's other competitors. I don't want to be alone. To- and yeah. what about showcase just in case Paul in the call does one hint hint <laughs> just performance no competition yeah. that would be exciting yes <laughs> I know which one I'm going to do too <laughs> <laughs> and it would be for a video too so you, it would be less less stress yes just videotape a time that was fun in the studio and send it in so fucking excited for that, but we won't talk about that. Mm-mm-mm. No, That's... it's a secret. <laughs> <Deep one>. <laughs> <laughs> so who are some of your favorite pollers? Like who are some of your inspirations? Do you There's follow on Instagram or anything? I'm following on Instagram Juan, pa- Juan Paulo Pacheco, I think it is. Pa- uh, Juan Paulo Chino. Paulo Chino. That's his Instagram. Yeah. Dude, I don't know if you're watching this podcast, but if you are, you are phenomenal. <laughs> you're an inspiration. Like, keep on doing what you're doing. Um, and then I follow one on TikTok, Tamar, Tamar Stugatin, I believe his name is. Tamaris? He's, Tamaris, is that it? Uh, but it's a little longer. He has like 188,000 followers. Something like that. He is, like, his strength is amazing. You know, and I've actually commented on some of his posts and he actually commented back yeah, and he's, he's like dude don't worry you're gonna get there he's just nice keep it up i was like he commented yeah um, <laughs> you know? t- t- i think his name is tamar rouse and tiktok and he actually started his poll journey around the same time as you did during, really like corona wow good That's for him awesome you know so and then another one chris uh got me into is, um adam poland adam lynn yes he, like, <laughs> dude, you kick ass. He really kicks ass. Like, he's, like, does not care. He's free. He's flowing. Just, like, that's awesome, you know? So it's um, cool to see. Nice. So what is it, your favorite style of pole, then? Freestyle. Freestyle. Yes. <laughs> has it always come easy for you or did you ever feel like self-conscious during this style comes easier for me because it's me it's me talking it's me saying what i'm feeling you know what's going on in my mind at that moment in time. love it yeah a lot of people say that that's the hardest thing but i really like that you it was the easiest for you it was also the easiest for me if you put a song on that i like or that i am feeling I could tear some up. Like I'll go on the floor, up the pole, down the pole, flip, flip, flip. I like that. I don't care. It's me saying, hey, this is how I'm feeling and what I'm feeling today. Mm. Like, um, forgive me for saying this, <laughs> but sexy flow, my least favorite class. <laughs> I don't know why. I've been into the class. You guys are awesome. I see your videos. It's not me. Uh, and you know what? That's okay. I'm just like I can't do this. This is a problem. It just happens. And then we all have our styles. You know, yeah. there's just I'm not gonna do it if I don't enjoy it. But I yeah, do. Yeah. I, I admire you guys for doing that. I'm like I wish I could do that, but that's not me. Hmm. You know. 
Well, we do miss you in that class for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind being in you, Chris. I like Chris, to watch you too. <laughs> yeah, pictures and stuff. I for real miss that class, but since I've picked up Mondays, I can't. <laughs> Tuesday. I know happens. it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. I know like there was a that um you'd be a video photographer uh, for sexy flow, you said? Yeah, because yes. I could do some really good shots to promote for you guys, like really seriously. Like I like I said, it's not me, but I love seeing it. You have this flow and this grace when you're doing it, you know you're loving it. And I'm on that, and I'm not at that level. Like I can do it, but I'm gonna be the one that is. <laughs> you feel it, you love it, you can see the difference. So don't take offense. <laughs> no, for sure. <laughs> okay. so I just want to. I want to be sure that you're not taking offense. Just, I'm like giving an example because that's my sister Millie's favorite class. Yeah, <laughs> she, yeah. Okay. <laughs> like you said, it's all different for everybody. I think me yeah. more. It's the more physical challenge. It gets me going. Uh, so excellent. So when you teach, you'll teach just more, more like trick style or combos. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. That would be fun. Maybe advanced stuff. I have so many things. <laughs> I'll take over <laughs> your classes, and you can do the advanced stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Classes. <laughs> what was that one that you did yesterday? The Jade something something. You flew into it. The oh, jumping Jade or something. You fly it into it. The back hook suicide or the Jasmine suicide. Oh my god! I posted that. I, I, I think oh, you. Oh, I have to see. Yeah. When you like jump on the pole in a Jasmine and slide down and end in an inside leg hang. It's oh, okay. beautiful. To see. I've only that's done that in slow motion. Like. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I told him yesterday. I was like, okay, you did it. Now I need piece by piece by piece by piece. <laughs> yes. That's the kind of stuff I like to do. So like power pole. Mm-hmm. Okay. So he likes nice. the power pole. That yes. is Ugh, I love it, but it's so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Super strenuous. Oh my god! And also yeah. freestyle. <laughs> I love a good freestyle, but it sucks in competitions because they provide the song. So it's not like okay, I didn't make a routine. I picked this song. I'll freestyle to it. It's whatever yeah. they give you. <laughs> as long as it is an opera, I'm pretty pretty good. <laughs> oh my god! Well, goodness. when it was my turn when I competed at the freestyle, they gave me John Mayer. Really? <laughs> yes. And I had to dance. Wow. To Gravity by John Mayer. And actually, I'd never even heard that song before. And when it came on, I was like, whatever. And it was like a, a normal, like, you know, a regular wow. beat. <laughs> My fear is that I would get something country. I could do country. <laughs> they might like, do that to you. <laughs> country, like, what the hell? Carry <laughs> under <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I love country, but. Again, I do a lot of my thinking in the shower and imagine imagining. I'm like, I couldn't do anything country will pull. Like, what would I do? You know, so again, that's stuck in my head. That's going to happen if you do a freestyle in competition. You're right, get- you never know. The girl <laughs> that, that went before me, they gave her, um, is that um, Angel? That, that song that everyone loves, that Matt, Mazzy. Beautiful. It, no, it's Beautiful. Um, you... Oh, my angel. <laughs> okay. Yep. And from up above. Damn it. Now I can't think of who sings that. I don't even know. I'm in my playlist. <laughs> oh, it's Massive Attack. Yeah. So they gave her Massive Attack. And she killed it. And then, I, and then they gave me John Mayer right after it. <laughs> <laughs> so that could be you. <laughs> They say the freestyle always go in with your combos in mind, just so you know yeah. at least half of it. And then the freestyle comes like mostly with the floor work and getting into those combos. Yeah, I would say that that was that's um, the the ones that won that category um, were very clear in their transitions and everything. So it was really clear that they had things planned. Yeah, um, 
where I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> and I had also like fallen in a hole, but that's um, another. Oh <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> that was when I sprained my foot right before I went on stage because I was wearing my heels and there was a hole and I fell in it and my heel broke and then yeah so th um that's that was my story that won't happen to you <laughs> <laughs> oh wow but that was my free the time that I competed freestyle at PSO that was my memory you can't promise that won't happen to him because that kid fell <laughs> right before him. Oh, my God. <laughs> no. Don't worry. I won't let it stop me out. Oh, my goodness. That's so yeah, sad. don't let it stop you. Like, stuff happens. Yeah. The more you compete, the more you have a chance of something wacky happening to you. Uh, and definitely, um, do you have any plan? I guess is a good qu another question. Do you have any plans for any other types of competitions? Because I know PS, so, like, you have to go there. You have to usually prepare or whatever or unless you do the virtual but would you do like um i know pole circus you can edit the videos different cool things like that well after That'd watching you go through that see. process pole circus i'm like i can do that yes. and yeah, i know the fun. song i want to do it too <laughs> Make it like you know so yeah. being yes. being pole his in june y'all pole circus in june yes. being his fiance, <laughs> seeing him do this stuff and go through this stuff it's just like it's also inspired me to want to go and do stuff. So, you know, watching him do the pole circus video is like, oh, you know what? Next time when you want to do a video, we could do this and we could try that. And you know what? No, forget about you. You do your thing. I'm going to do my own thing because I'm going to do that one now. <laughs> yes. This is like the inspiration, yes. you know. Maybe make like a random music video just because you can. Mm -hmm. we always yes, see. right? Like all of a sudden, all of us were like, out of nowhere, we're all dancers, and now we're all videographers. <laughs> now yeah. we're all cinematographers. Mm -hmm. We have come a long way. <laughs> <at home. laughs> all because of the poll. Yeah. <laughs> Made another little family. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I definitely think that you should do an online one. I'd like to see some music video that you could put together. It'd be awesome. <laughs> like a pole circus one or even like a showcase because I know we just had that showcase for pole in the wall and I did one. Yeah. With PSO, it has to be like full recording of the whole routine. You can't edit it. Okay. Um, I think do they have it edited in an unedited version? Or and I don't so know. I, so. okay. I think it's full unedited. Like you have to record the routine. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. That whole circus has all um all of them. Yeah. Either or pull through or edit it. Okay. Yeah. Or hell, make a music video just because you're bored and it's your day off. Right? Yeah. Like what? <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> well, what are um what are your plans for the future of pole besides maybe teaching and competing again? Do you have any other things in your site for? pole dancing it's kind of funny you actually said that um i have been dreaming a lot lately and you guys might find this weird that i came into a bunch of money and we opened a massive studio together like i've been having this dream reoccurring for the last three months do your dreams come true <laughs> a lot of the times they do <laughs> You know, so it got me thinking, it's like, you know, this is the kind of thing that you thrive in, the creativity, the organization, all this kind of stuff. And I would like to be in your shoes one day to be a studio owner at some yes. point. It's not going to happen now, probably like 10, 15 years down the road, but it's, again, an inspiration. You know, it's like, this is awesome stuff. It's fun. You can make a living out of it. You know, you, you know, that saying, if you love what you're doing, it's not work. <laughs> I could do this for a living. Seriously, you know, so I don't know, maybe some, some type of uh, bigger role in the pole community is what I'm going for. You know, I want to be Chris, a Mandy, Jenna Ray, you know. <laughs> There's not I love you so much. You're so awesome. Oh, <laughs> I, I'm in awe of all y'all. 
seriously, like Jenna Ray, her freedom and self-expression when she goes to class. This is Jenna Ray. You don't like it? Too bad. I'm happy. I'm sexy. Mandy, same thing. Your outfits are stunning. You don't care. You are happy with who you are. (laughs) (laughs) And Chris is just like, "Mm." you know, Chris. It's like awesome watching and Paulina. She's intimidating, but it's because that's beauty in motion. When I see Paulina, it's that's beauty in motion. Like she's, I kind of have like a little man crush on her, I guess you could say. (laughs) She scares the ever living shit out of me. I don't want to disappoint her. You know, and never going to be able to get at her level. I understand that. But don't say that. That's true. Yes. All you guys, Kelly, her ballet, her sweetness. You know, I don't know Kalisha that much. I don't know um, what's her name, Cassie, all that well. But Cassie's another one. She's free. I want to be like that. You know, you guys are happy. You're self expressive. You enjoy each other. It's an awesome community to be in. So I want to get up there soon with you guys. Yay. I love that. Your profile. I think. Hi, babe. <laughs> well, that's my, that's my personal. I have my Roman open. The pole one? Okay. And it's pole. Roman Dominate. Dominate. Oh, I should have asked. I was like. No, it's fine hey. because not very many people know this. Roman is because of my first and middle name. Cut Manuel Roman. And Dominate is because I'm a dominant, aggressive type of kind of guy. So it's dominant in Portuguese. <laughs> yep. Love it. Yep. <laughs> Thank you for explaining that. You're welcome. <laughs> well, do you have any advice for pollers that are just starting or maybe people who are on the fence about trying poll? Go. Just go. Get in it. I don't care if you're entry level and you're still at the floor. You're not going to be at your instructor's level yet. Yeah. They will work on you. You're not going to get it the first time around, probably not even the third time around. Um, there's some moves that others can do that you can't, and there are some moves that you're going to be able to do and others can't. Go in and have fun. Don't criticize yourself and don't compare yourself to anyone because you're unique. Your journey is going to be unique. And I can pretty much guarantee you that if you do, you're going to love it. And it's going to be an awesome journey because I don't see this ending for me. I'm 46 years old and I do not see it ending for me. I see it as another stage of my life. Yes. I am so happy that you said your age too, because I never want to ask, but you should, like everyone should know, like there's no deadline on, on this pole dancing thing. It's, whenever you know just if you have a body mm-hmm. let's figure it out <laughs> yeah, skip that. yeah. And if your first Love class it. if you like it try another class <laughs> that's true yeah just like you said you know some classes are not for everyone <laughs> Even though everyone should love Sexy Flow, I understand. <laughs> sexy Flow is a fun class, but it is definitely a force to be reckoned with. I mean, now it's different because you set it up every other week, floor work, every other week, dance. But before, it was a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> I mean, it's still a force to be reckoned with, but that cardio, oh my God, that cardio. I, like when you get, get towards the end of class and you do the routine, it's just like it's beautiful to see. Me personally is like, I like to see it, but I can do it. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> yeah, and I've tried it a couple of times. I just don't know the class and me just, we didn't mesh, but I love to watch you guys. Well, it's not to try to like lure you back, but <laughs> <laughs> I did change the format a little bit. The, the flow is, it's not like to a set song anymore. So we kind of do a little bit more like, free flow to it like we'll dance it together but then it's also like whatever you thought the beat was um okay. so it's a little bit more so maybe okay, you'll so come I'll, back I'll, I'll try another class <laughs> yeah yeah we try it to like eight different songs and, and really? it's always different yeah so it's fun 
Ooh. right? Because it's hard to do it right on the beat. And the reason why I changed it was because it was for me. Because I was staying for like two hours after just trying to get it right for a video for you guys. <laughs> and I couldn't even do it. So like, <laughs> how am I supposed to <laughs> expect everyone to get this in an hour, you know, um, yeah. if I can't even do it. So let's have more fun with it. <laughs> All right. You'll be seeing my ugly ass soon. <laughs> yes. And those thigh high boots, please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And I'll wear mine too, and we'll have to get a pair. Right. Too funny. <laughs> yes. Ooh, I think I that was two. Oh, now you're, you're thinking about it. One of us is gonna have to go climb up high, knee hook, the other one climb a little up another knee hook, and then we kick yes. ours. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we got Love it. it. <laughs> Well, I think that's all of the questions that I had. Um, I mean, that's always a set questions. What is what hand grip do you use? <laughs> <laughs> and by hand grip, we don't mean split grip or <laughs> now we have to specify because there's been a few people who uh, said this and they thought it was um like forearm grip or elbow grip. I like the uh, white bottle that we used to get. The white. From I don't remember the company's the name. The dry one, hands. The one dry from hands. Paulina. Oh, the dry hands. I like that one. Um, but oh. since we stopped because of, you know their attitude towards certain people, <laughs> um, I just started uh, the new product. The one that we got off of Amazon. Okay. I yes. don't know. I'm not a fan of that one. I've been leaning more towards the chalk that Paulina has been give, um, yeah. giving. Yeah. I got to see if she can get us more of that. I hope so. The D one. Because yeah. that has actually Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> no problem. That one actually helped me with my spin. Yeah. Yeah, because it's getting to be summer again, and I think that's when everyone needed it. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> For everyone who doesn't know what we're talking about, <laughs> DY liquid chalk. DY yep. liquid yeah. chalk. Mm -hmm. It's from Russia. From and Russia. Yeah. Mm, so. I hope it's still available at this point, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, no, I was just thinking the same thing. I'm like, oh. yeah. <laughs> no. That's we will awesome. find out, I guess. Such a good product. That's That sucks. Yeah. Well, and that's all you used? <laughs> Do you find that it it changes during the seasons or no, I've pretty much been um level. I've only used the hand the dry hands and the D DYI chalk. Um I tried that spray once. Don't like it. Yeah, I don't like that one either. You know, and um we were talking about this yesterday. The pole nearest the bathroom, mm. that's my pole. My pole was not behaving yesterday. Oh, no. <laughs> no matter what grip we put on, how much we cleaned it, it just was not feeling us yesterday. I, I was so hurt. It was weird. Well, I haven't used I them in a while. when that happens, yeah. It was yeah, weird because the class before it worked perfect. The student was like, on it. <laughs> it was perfect. But then the dual pole, like, we could not stick to that pole for nothing. Mm. No, <laughs> I hate when it does that. Like for the one class, it'll be great, and then the next class, yeah. it's not. That happens to me often when I teach too. And then mixed level, it went back to normal. Of course it did. <laughs> it needed a break. <laughs> like, Hold on, <laughs> you need to just take a break. <laughs> mm. Oh, I remember. I was going to ask you too because you you said that you think about your choreography and stuff in the shower, mm -hmm. and that's also a place where I. I have lots of ideas that come to me and I was wondering if that's like a thing because I had never really talked about that before. Chris, do you feel <laughs> that way too? For me personally, yeah, it's I the come, one I do it in the shower too. It's, it's the shower. one spot where typically you're alone. Mm -hmm. And when I'm in the shower, I like to blast my music. It's my little disco uh, time. And <laughs> there are a couple songs that I've been playing on repeat that I'm sure he's tired of, but mm -hmm my mind is already placing, you know, like, uh, oh, I'm going to do this on this point and this on that point. 
Let me oh. ask Mandy what she thinks we could do for this period. I have this in mind, but is it going to work? And then Jenna Ray needs to put her input. And then I need Chris <laughs> to show me some crazy ass <laughs> thing that I could do for this. It's funny. You know? Yes. <laughs> Top of our show. I think it's the best place. Watermarks from Corio. <laughs> right? <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> it's like the best place to be you able to think. Slick your hair. And, your and then hair. another one is um, like the car when you're dry, when you're just like, driving that's another one i've heard also me as well <laughs> well i'm more concentrated on the road ah uh, that's probably yeah, a good idea for driving, <laughs> like i'm smoking a cigarette and we're sharing one like mm-hmm. my eyes do not leave the road i'll grab his hand and follow his fingers till i get to the cigarette uh, like i <laughs> take my, my eyes off sometimes the road sometimes you'll be bringing out that phone but that's yeah. different sometimes. stop like <laughs> I think in the car, well, wait, wait. in the car, I'll repeat the song. I won't dance it out, but I will repeat it and um, think like, okay, in this part, maybe I want to do this. This part, I, oh. like that. So you think about it too, then? Yeah. I think about it, but I don't like do the, the sequence of. A, oh yeah, I won't be like sitting there like doing it, but I'll like I'll think about the sequence of events. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, I like this move at this speed just like random shit just yeah, like a t- yeah. think no one else in the car just driving you know driving alone is a peaceful time all right so <laughs> here, i'm gonna give the one idea for the showcase jordan, yes. jordan knight give it to you oh. i was kind of thinking like a dark themed circus type deal but very sexualized as well the posts are this but i want to do it with <laughs> i know it sounds like it or sexy flow a little bit you know i want to incorporate everything that i learned at pole yes night. so chair and pole and floor and everything and then yes. see if uh miss torza will give me a quick little combo for the entrance for it yes i like it like i said i got it all planned it's gonna be everything and Write every class down. that I took, oh, I've got it. <laughs> every class that I've taken that poll, and I want to show you know this is what I learned in my year plus journey at Poland Wall. Imagine what you can do. Love it. Mm-hmm. I can't yeah. wait. <laughs> so how long we got to wait for that? <laughs> when is the showcase? <laughs> uh, we're not, uh, not, well, the uh, poll on the wall showcase. <laughs> December. Oh, okay. yes. Wait. A winter showcase for Pokemon. Oh, yeah. December. I could definitely have it done by then. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Anything else was to be determined. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Love it. I so think that's oh well, yeah, I guess I guess I I was thinking about it because like we if we choreograph in the shower, which is like water, and then in the car, we're like surrounded by air. I also <laughs> like if I'm sitting looking at fire. So like it's a, all of the elements. If we're just around the elements, we get inspired to choreograph, which I think is kind of cool to note. <laughs> yeah, I like to dance when I'm in nature too. <laughs> right? <laughs> like I think it's cool. I don't know. Yeah. Sorry, I just ground. noted that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So uh, I was thought <laughs> it's a time to be creative and like element ground yourself with the elements. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like why did I don't know? There's been a million times where I've been at the beach where I just started dancing like a like all over the place. That's where all <laughs> I was at work today. I was in the office. Yes. Sometimes- <laughs> everybody's like, oh snap. <laughs> sometimes I love it. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you have to. <laughs> yep. Music is a big part of my life. Yes. Yeah, for sure. Do you think that um, it inspires your your choreography, or do you think? Oh, yeah, because yeah, because I'm the type of person where, um, I actually feel the songs and the words in relation to myself and what I'm going through at that time. You know, so depending on what song I pick, you're gonna know this is what I'm going through at this moment and how I'm feeling. Da 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 da. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For sure. That makes it really authentic too. You know, just like going through the motions. Yep. Which could be like sexy flow. 
<laughs> I was gonna say, thinking about it, you listen to a lot of sexy songs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wrong with that. Shit. <laughs> I think no, that's use it. It's, yeah, it's the, uh, the authenticity. I think that's why it made me mad about the the way that sexy flow was too, because of that lack of authenticity. Um that you you appreciate when you watch someone dance. It's more than just watching someone do the movements. Like there's something behind it. Um so yeah. <laughs> yeah and then to be willing to share that on stage is a lot so i appreciate you for for doing that and for being compelled to do that too because <laughs> you inspire others for sure oh you're too cute yeah yep. <laughs> that is posting too cute. more yes oh. yeah oh, so that's why i haven't posted <laughs> i have some pictures of uh the dual poll that i'm working on for um, I don't know if Chris showed you, but that was for them personally. Oh, know. nice. Those. Do you want yeah. to send it? I can send yeah. those. Okay. I took a uh, couple pictures, you know, for them. And um, I edited it, stuff like that. So they have a nice little memory. I don't know. Oh, if thank one. you. Yeah, I can send it to you. You know, just her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just her. <laughs> you know, that so sounds was, awesome. It was, it was a fun thing to go through. I really did enjoy it. It was fun. And that's when I was like, <laughs> Now that we did this, I was thinking about, you know, I told him about getting my pole instructor instruction certification, but I wasn't sure about it. What did he think? And he's like, yeah, I'll do it. Yeah. For, For sure. You know? Facts. <laughs> yes. Did we I talk about it. like what you do as a normal person? Oh, yeah. Yes. We did not ask that. Yeah. Huh? Um, I'm a case manager for a substance abuse program specifically for uh, Puerto Rican males, 18, 18 to the age 99. Um, very stressful, you know, um, very emotional. So self-care is really important, you know, and that's why I'm telling myself, don't go back, you know, not doing any more pull. I need to work my schedule because I had changed recently, but I'm not going to go back to just working. I refuse. I got a promotion, actually, believe it or not. But part of that, thank you. Part of that promotion, I made it very clear that I was not increasing my hours. That was hard limit. Like, I wasn't playing. I need to take care of myself. And I told him, I need to go to the pole studio. I haven't been going. It's got to stop. They're like, OK. Mm -hmm. Still got the promotion. Nice. Mm -hmm. That's amazing that you were able to like lay down the boundary and still like get what you need. Like that's, that's everything. <laughs> so then we got to get you back in the pole studio. <laughs> Trust me. I'm coming. I'm coming. Hell yeah. Can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> and then as far as like other, other art things, do you have any like other artistic things that you do like drawing or? Yeah, I like to paint and I like to draw. Um, I deal mostly with uh, male erotica, like that. I love the male body. Um, huge advocate for sex. Like he could tell you, like I. Some people think I'm a little much, but that's just me. I'm a sexual person, and you can see it in my artwork. You know, um, I'm also gonna start doing some other side projects that are incorporating my artwork, but that's a little further down. Nice. So some things are coming. It's just I'm a slow person when it comes to stuff like that. <laughs> That's all right. They would say like good art takes time anyway. So like mm -hmm. I've been yeah. there's one piece that I've been working on for a year. Yeah. And it's still not. Done. Yeah. <laughs> just make but sure you don't ever like not release it ever because it's never good enough. Because that's the other no, end of the spectrum. Like I said, it's not to my standards yet. You know, it's getting there but the thing is is i haven't wow it's been almost how old am i 46 almost 30 years since i picked up painting and stuff it's taken a while to you know get some stuff back but yeah it's been another cool process and that's I haven't, awesome really <laughs> too funny <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah well i think that's 
with everything, with your background, with your oh, polar. There's, there's a lot of yeah. questions to a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and you gave us advice. Yes. <laughs> oh, competition, history, and what are you going to do in the future? <laughs> This was awesome. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thanks so much. Facts. Well, we'll have... <laughs> Started to get loud out here. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll have to do this again too after like your next competition experience just to see how much you've grown from there and see, you know, maybe you've gone off and gotten your certification. We can talk to you about that. And well, we can see how you how you grow in your poll. What? Where are they now? <laughs> oh, wait, I missed it again. Where are they now? The name of the episode. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, we need to do everyone. <laughs> That's a good idea. Like, we caught up with you again. Be like, you took some time out from your super busy schedule of being an amazing pole dancer that's traveling the world. <laughs> that would be awesome. Yes. You, you never know. I know, no, right? Don't facts one day yeah anything it, happen even in just one year like look at how far you've come in one year so true yeah manifest it mm -hmm. a lot of attraction <laughs> yes okay well i guess we should sign it sign it off yes i don't have my heel it'll be okay <laughs> you know, I have yellow I'll, socks I'll, is that okay <laughs> I think this is my first one of no heels. <laughs> I think I got shit. <laughs> you guys are too cute. <laughs> you need to get so excited. Oh, any, um, any updates? Yes, yes, yes. Um, oh. <laughs> Jude, um, Jude, we are doing our po our po into summer challenge. It is much different than our last challenge, y'all. Um, there's i think like six to seven different things you'll be doing you have like four to five days to do each and you can pick whatever you want to do i mean spin of choice post of choice um different things like that your favorite combo um if you tag us or dm us because we know some of you can't tag us you get entered to win one of our free po interactive download posters and everybody gets a certificate but we got to know you're participating because if you don't tag us or dm us or sign up we ain't gonna know and you ain't gonna get the certificate <laughs> what else do we have we noted what else do we have coming up um goodness we do have a break a one week break coming up in july i think we will let you know when that is coming up i think it's and july 4th through 9th or something like that it ends on the 9th yes this is just a one week break not two weeks like last time any other things pole circus of course midnight summer dream their competition is in june uh polecon is around the corner if it hasn't happened it's like this month it's, or next week. it's oh about to happen yeah i think it's like next weekend <laughs> yes yeah, so polecon body by fran and a few other people will be there yeah uh, goodness so much so much so much i think that's it for that we do have a lot coming up but we ain't using spoilers for those who want to steal them <laughs> we're not saying anybody wants to do that but we ain't gonna give any more spoilers yet <laughs> you'll see it when it happens yes. <laughs> we should like play some fake stuff like oh we have a whole new line of booty shorts coming out I've been thinking about that. Hey, we have getting it like to pole wear. We have the designer. <laughs> we have, <laughs> we have <laughs> going to change. <laughs> is, well, is, I guess is speaking it, of apparel, like um, we have an interview coming up with um, Sarah from Bees Knees Knee Pads, the amazing knee pads. So um, we can talk about that right now. <laughs> Oh yeah, and Donna Carno, who we just had at our, our studio um, last week, which I unfortunately had COVID during, but she has agreed to be interviewed. So um, that will be upcoming. She's an amazing pole dancer and competitor and an instructor as well. Yes, nice. Yes. So many fun things mm -hmm. happen. Yes, but I think I'll let you guys enjoy the rest of the wonderful sunny day outside in that porch that I wanna be on. 
What is it? You still have to sign off, I think. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, we have to sign off for sure. <laughs> All, right, <laughs> All right, just making sure. Just the end of the episode, we usually go into like, what's up, po news? This is what's coming on. <laughs> <laughs> and then we sign up. So, yes. this has been another wonderful episode of Pull on the Call. Thank you so much for, for listening yeah. and watching wherever you're listening and watching from and hope you um, leave us some comments. Let us know how you like the episode and we will see you again very soon. Oh, thank, you, is- thank you for coming out. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Mandy. Thank you so much. And uh, this is Mandy Mack. <laughs> and Chris Rivers and we are oh my god. No heels today, my bad, y'all. I forgot my bad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>